Go A Leaf! <laughs> Go Avid! <laughs> Go Avid! <laughs> so before I begin, I would like to thank <laughs> um, A Leaf, <laughs> um, Avid, of course, and I would like to thank God. <laughs> I would also like to thank a very spe special person to me in the AVID world. His name is Jonathan Grant Brown. He shared his AVID story <laughs> at my middle school five years ago. Because of the impact he had on me that day, I am able to share my story today with you. Survivor, one who overcomes extreme obstacles. This is who I am and it is largely due to my AVID family. As a child, I was a victim of repeated physical and verbal abuse. The worst part of these abuses was that they were committed by my own mother. As atrocious as the fact is, I asked for no one's sympathy. Through many avenues and over a great deal of time, I have overcome and survived. In the days before AVID, college was just a dream for me. In the area where I lived, it was quite normal for people to drop out of school or graduate high school only. That would be the climax of their success. However, with AVID, I learned that there was a world beyond walking across the stage. My first year in AVID was bittersweet. I was being tormented by memories from my past Avid would tell me I had the potential to be someone in life, while at home all I heard was how I wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> I was letting the negativity at home control me and my actions at school. I was angry and com <laughs> combative, <laughs> combative, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> quick to mouth off and lash out. Why Ms. Redmond, my counselor and mentor, who also happened to be the Avid coordinator, recommended me and guided me through a process that was totally beyond my thinking. And I am forever grateful for that. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> she saw through the mess and guided me through, I'm sorry. <laughs> she saw through the mess. I was suffering from depression, became a cutter, and even attempted suicide. The suicide attempt was a wake-up call for me. Through my recovery, I replayed everything my avid family told me I was capable of. All right. <laughs> Through my recovery, I replayed everything my avid family told me I was capable of. I gained strength from their words, and realized I deserve to live and prove all of those <laughs> who doubted me by going to college and fulfilling my dreams. When I returned to school, I had fallen behind, but my avid mates, teachers, a teacher, and Ms. Redmond did not hesitate to help me catch up. Thanks to them, I was promoted to ninth grade. In the ninth grade, I became part of a new avid family, such an amazing, supportive, and intelligent class. <laughs> I was still being abused at home, but academically I was doing great. My freshman, years, my freshman year and sophomore year were by far the best. Then the unthinkable happened my junior year. My mom kicked me out of the house. Got this. <laughs> Struggling to find a stable place to sleep, eat, 
and get my homework done, my grades began to suffer. But of course, av my avid family was, once again was there to support me, gave me resources and advice. So I picked my head up and I tried my best. <laughs> Despite the challenges, because I was avid bound, avid changed my mindset. Where I used to accept the negativity as a part of life, I realized that it was only temporary. Thank you so much. I am more than my obstacles. I am happy to tell you that with time, my relationship with myself and my mother has improved, and she is here today to support me. I've grown a lot academically and personally. I don't settle for less when it comes to my education. I aim for excellence. Just good enough is not good enough. My personal growth due to disassociating myself from honored peers. I have channeled my energy towards being a mentor and example for my younger avid family members and my little brother. Everyone goes through difficulties in life, but not everyone is blessed enough to have a support system like I do. Aside from my avid teachers, Ms. Redmond has been there for me and with me every step of the way, providing unconditional support and becoming my second mom, loving me when I couldn't love myself and seeing in me what I didn't see in myself. Ms. Redmond, will you please stand? <laughs> I hope that I can be to my, to my future students what, Ms., uh, what Avid and Ms. Redmond has been to me, a constant, a lifeline, a guiding force. Now my dream of going to college has become my reality. I will be attending East Texas Baptist University in the fall, majoring in education and composite science. <laughs> Ask me what success looks like now, and I will simply say, me.